we're gonna be watching a video called Well Made Trash. It's, I think, possibly a Wuthering Waves review video. It has quite possibly the craziest like to dislike ratio I've seen in my entire life. Five to 66, sure is, I, I don't think I've ever seen a dis, like a like ratio that has less than 10 likes. Duh, come join us on Twitch if you ever have time. Twitch.tv forward slash hex underscore juice. Twitch.tv forward slash hex underscore juice. We stream live most days at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Times, except for on Sunday where we watch reality TV together in my Discord, so you can join on Discord as well. If you come to Twitch and chat in my chat, you will get a bonus of your choice. Bigger PP, fatter ass, higher fertility, higher uh, semen count, hypothetically. Whatever you'd like, I'm a genie, I will do your wish. And now, let's go ahead and get into it. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Let's get into uh, it. This week for a bit was weathering waves. Weathering, not weathering. I've been trying to pronounce the U more harshly because people were making fun of me. Weathering waves. Because I say weathering waves, which it is a U sound, but I think it sounds a little bit more like an I sound. So I, it sounds like weathering. Weathering. Uh, I've been trying to be better about my pronunciation because people were making fun of me. And holy smokes. Like it's a very similar to Genshin Impact. Yeah. And it's a game that I'm kind of torn up because at the same time, it's like the experience itself is fairly pleasant. What is it that this footage that we're looking at? Can I just, what are these like random ass still shots that we're looking at? Oh, are they slides? We'll look at the slideshow. But at the same time, it is we shouldn't stay here. super fucking boring. Uh-huh. Like in terms of gameplay, it is awful oh like there's just parts of the game that are just so bad but at the same time it's very pleasant to play huh all right uh first question how long did you play this game because you are quite literally showing the first five minutes of the game if it's boring to you i mean i guess valid but <laughs> it's really bad and i don't like it and it's boring but like good like huh like i liked playing Genshin impact i played played it quite a bit Okay. But like when you look at the game like from an objective perspective, if you ignore the sort of pleasantness of it, mm -hmm. and if you just want to sort of relax and uh, click and maybe watch stuff, I mean, if you just look, this is a tutorial. So you start out, here's like what I start the game at like zero. And then here's a ch some chatting. Let's see, how long does this initial sequence take? It's like five minutes. Then you get to walk. Oh my God. They made me listen to the setup of the story for five minutes. Genshin would never make me sit for five minutes and listen to yapping. Disgusting. Can't believe this. Walk. So, and then like attack a few things. Let's see if I... I do oh, here's, here's how you jump. Here's how you jump. And then they just talking constantly about here's what the world's like. And like here's how you use a heavy attack. Here you go. Click the button. The right and the left button. Are we complaining that they're having him do a tutorial at the beginning of the game? Is Am I interpreting this correctly? That the tutorial is attempting to help you learn the game at the beginning of the game? Because again, this is in the first like five, ten minutes of the game. If you don't want, yeah, yeah. If you don't want to play a game that doesn't have a tutorial. I mean, even Elden Ring has a tutorial though, dude. Like every like, oh, oh no, it made you do a tutorial. How it taught you the basic buttons. Insane. Sounds come forth. Really intense clicking right here. What level of hater shit is this? Like, I think that there are valid concerns to have, but I had to click to attack during the tutorial where it taught me how to use the abilities of the characters. Like, huh? Is it crazy? And I honestly don't think the, uh, the gameplay isn't too bad, but it's, it's literally just clicking. There is... Uh... <laughs> Okay, we're a minute and 49 seconds into this. I'm starting to understand this like to dislike ratio. This is wild. Some skill in, as you get into the game, but the entire uh, the entire game is sort of revolving around trying to get you into it at first. Every sentence of this gets crazier. I know that I should let him talk more, but every sentence of this is so insane that I feel like I have to respond. The beginning of the game is trying to get you into the game. Yes. And then getting you to spend money. It's a gotcha game, yeah. I hate, I hate the, 
I'm the char I love the character designs. Like Yang Yang, super cute. I don't like the English voice actor for it. That's fair. Super I don't either. Hey, Deborah, how's it going? Jin Joe, here's some more talking. More talking. So thus far in this video, we have complained that the tutorial teaches you how to play the game, that the beginning of the game is trying to get you into the game by telling you the story, and that Yang Yang's voice actor doesn't sound that good, which honestly I agree with. But this has been very interesting thus far. Yo, here's some more talking. Uh -huh. More talking. This is still like the first 10 minutes of the game, by the way. Oh, wow. Look, you're, here you fight a big guy. Uh-huh. Click on him. Super... Mm -hmm. Great effects. I mean, the game is beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they, they, I like the sort of anime type of aesthetics. That's yes. more of a sci-fi kind of vibe, sci-fi fantasy uh, type of vibe to it than Genshin, which is more just pure fantasy. It's supposed to be a post-apocalyptic thing, but that's, yeah, sure. Let me be your blade. <laughs> Let me be your blade. I hate the English voice acting. And then, like the cute characters, cute anime girls all over uh -huh. the place. It's Again, gotcha. more talking. And here's yes. more talking. 15 minutes into it, we're still. 15 minutes into a live service gotcha game, and I'm having to listen to them talk? Oh my God, that's insane. I can't believe this. In between me doing the tutorial which increased in difficulty via putting you against small easy enemies and then putting you against a bigger more difficult enemy and then there was some more talking to set up the story of the game wow insane concept all i've done so far is uh click on a few characters and fought uh fought some guys where they tell you how to like right click and left click no. In 15 minutes, I've done the tutorial and talked to people. Now we finally get into a, like a boss style fight. Male rover enjoyer. Just simply saying that. Speeding up. Speeding up. He's walking menacingly towards me. Left shift to dodge. You can lock the camera too. Just play God of War. What are we currently upset about? <laughs> I actually haven't played God of War, but I, I've never really owned a PlayStation. Okay. So you're just... They do They do have a counter system, which is kind of neat, where, like, then a stagger bar where you can, like, stagger a guy and then do a bunch of damage. But what I noticed for these bosses is that they have... A t and this is really one of the big problems with, like, Genshin Impact end games like this is they rely so much on weapon stats and improving your fps because they what <laughs> fps does does he mean dps well yeah that's the same in like every game ever in what game do you need to work on getting higher dps in uh, uh, huh it's an rpg that's kind of like the point basically have these fps gates in the FPS. Okay. F uh, the FPS. Yeah. The game, which relies on you to upgrade your stuff because everything's about mm -hmm. grinding and upgrading. And in order to do that more efficiently, of course, you have to shell out some cash. Get in the guy. If you're complaining about RPGs being centered around building your characters and making them stronger, that's the same in like every RPG known to man. Most RPGs in some way are built around making characters stronger so that you can do more damage and fight most things. I will like grant you that yes, Gotcha is centered around trying to get you to spend a lot of money and or time in order to do that. But that's more or less the structure of an RPG in general. So if you don't like that in these games, you probably just should play a role-playing game because that's the same in Wuthering Waves and Genshin the same way it's true in I don't know Dungeons and Dragons yes you do try to like make the character stronger so that you can do more damage but yeah this is wow this is wild gotcha system do your get your gotcha weapons mm -hmm. uh, to do more damage so if and if you don't mm -hmm. we'll enjoy fighting stuff for for uh hours on end you, know, enjoy like you don't have to 
necessarily spend money on gotcha to get better weapons or weapons that work if you spent hours on this particular boss uh, oof like you know a 20 minute fight with these bosses 20 minute fight most of the fights are time gated to like three or four minutes what are you fighting for 20 minutes i don't think a cute character i love the characters yeah and the, the style of it it's like it's it's well done in that respect but like 30 minutes in and i'm still t it's still a tutorial talking 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 oh you ditch one guy here's how to use the echoes again this is more tutorial did he just want to be dropped into the game with like no background knowledge there's a really great game if you just want to be dropped into a game that tells you absolutely fuck all go play subnautica you can be dropped in the middle of the ocean with absolutely no tutorial and you can suffer like why are we acting like having a tutorial that tries to teach you about all of the basic concepts is like a bad or negative thing like huh and then you get into the town 40 minutes in, I'm in actually in the first town. And then at this point, it's just following uh, this again, talking, 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 talking. Yes, they're talking in the game at the beginning of the game to tell you the story. Yeah, it's true. I think that's when you finally... Uh, and then the quests themselves are... They have the typical MMO quests where it's like, go to this point, talk to this person, go mm -hmm. to another point, talk to this person. Mm -hmm. There's so little, so little in terms of actual gameplay. Actually, have you considered that you don't actually have to do everything the game tells you in the order in which it tells you to do them? Yeah, like you could just walk away and go do something else or go try something else or go play the game. You don't have to do this. There's a certain amount that they'll probably make you do for the tutorial, but like this is the story of the game. You kind of need to know what the story is. Fighting stuff. And when you do fight stuff, it's mostly grinding. Which, I mean, if you're into that, like, I could definitely see this being appealing to people mm -hmm. that just want a sort of laid back experience, a little bit of combat, and just sort of, you know, you're done for the day, you want to turn your mind off for an hour or two, mm -hmm. well, hell. This this game will do it. It won't. It's kind of like any gotcha game. Like I think that there are there's harder core content that you can do in this game for sure. You know, you can do holograms or stuff or whatever. Gotcha games are meant to be played for X amount of time a day. If you want to do extra stuff and do some extra grinding, you can do more of that in Weathering Waves than in other gotcha games. Kind of what that's like the kind of one of the reasons that you play gotcha games is that they're kind of designed to be played in sort of a casual, you know, chill daily thing. I mean, if you just want to like, like have like a really like insane hardcore experience, like gotcha games probably aren't for you. And maybe it challenges it a little bit every now and then, but not too much. That is until you get to the end game, at which point uh, there's a lot of systems in there to uh, get you to shell out cash in, in order to succeed. It gets you to shell out cash in order to succeed if you have no patience. You can absolutely progress in weathering waves a good amount without spending any money. If you want to like have the quickest progress possible, you want to be like Fob Master who's level 60 in the game already, then yeah, you're probably going to have to shell out cash. But it, it, it is a patience issue or it is like a being a willingness to grind issue. But like if you don't like those things, then gotcha just isn't for you. Oh, by the way, hey, Burl Rush, uh, good to see you. Good to see you. I didn't, uh, didn't say hi. Talk, 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 and then finally, an hour in, I finally decide I'm going to uh, do some. Ga of course, gambling. That's the other. Uh, that's the other part that I enjoy about the game is gambling. We got to uh -huh. do some pulls, guys. Actually, I haven't pulled yet. It's, there's so little in terms of combat. Like there's. Well, you're doing exactly what the game tells you to do. Like you could just literally go do something else. You don't have to just do what the game tells you to do step by step in order. It's an open world game. You can just like kind of get to the end of whatever it was you were f completing and then do something else. It's a very odd way to come into a game to just be like, I don't want to, I don't want you to talk to me. I don't want you to teach me how to play the game. I don't want to do any exploring. I want to do exactly as I'm told and I'm going to be bored. Like, I, I just, I don't know. I, I, I don't really care if he likes Genshin. Like, this is just a whack fucking way to come into any game. Here's a, here's a puzzle. Here's a f dumb puzzle. The puzzles themselves are so rudimentary. Like, look, look at this. Hold on, let me see if I can scrub to the challenge here. All right, he tries that. Oh, let me, here's it. Please edit your videos if you're going to post them on the internet. I hate this, like, oh, I, I don't have to edit videos thing. Nobody is good enough at content creation that they don't have to edit their videos. Please do not 
make me watch you scrub through footage while you like sort of meander. Look at this amazing puzzle you have to solve here. A thousand IQ to solve this. The puzzles at the beginning of the game are easier than uh, are easy. Yes, that's true. This is this is this is gameplay, right? <laughs> For, for Zen Zoneless Zero here. This is not Zenless Zone Zero. It's definitely not Zen Zoneless Zero either. It's just, it's 100%, it's a free to play game, Bull Rush. Absolutely. Free to yeah, great observation. Free to play, uh, pay to win is, this is the. It's a free to play single player game. Like, pay to win is kind of more so a thing if it's not single player, right? Like, yes, you have an easier time progressing in the game if you pay money, but like, pay to win, you're not really winning anything. You can just pay to progress faster, but it's not win anything because it's a single player experience. If you don't like these kind of games, it's fine, but don't act like it's not good. You just don't like it. It's cool. Body, this is the sort of Chinese formula of that. Genshin Impact. I'm mm -hmm. sure the Zenzo, the Zero. Zen Zone Zero. They're all free to play, pleasant looking, cute girls all over the place, gambling for uh, <clears throat> for characters and weapons. Yeah. Just, this is the epitome of game design, a microtransaction game design, just Skinner Box perfection. What you've said is fundamentally sort of true about gotcha games. But like the thing is, is like... Yes, those that is true about the games. And it seems like maybe you just don't like gotcha games, and that's fine. But, like, why are you playing this then? Why are you playing the game if you just don't like the fundamental aspects of, like, RPGs? If you don't like the fundamental aspects of it being based around microtransactions? And also, like, why even play a live service game if you don't like microtransactions? That's what live service games are, no? Basically, every single live service game known to man at this point is absolutely riddled with microtransactions, especially if it's free to play. Uh, if you don't want microtransactions, you should probably just stick to to non-live service games and then uh to kind of just not play gotcha or like anything like <laughs> i don't i don't know i don't know if uh then zone zero whatever the fuck is for you and this is the game this is the sort of gameplay they have in here how could you solve so honestly what the heck they're just like some easy early game puzzles this is wild this is the busy work they have you doing to make you think you're uh accomplishing something Bro is level 20. This is actually possibly his first echo ever absorbed. Talking about what the game is like. Can we just stick to reality here on what's going on on the screen? You'll, no, you'll never be able to solve this. I assume at some point... OMG, guys, the puzzles that teach you how the puzzles work in the game at the beginning of the game are not that hard. Could you imagine that in the beginning of the game that the puzzles are easier than later in the game? Point. Maybe it gets harder. Yeah, maybe it would if you played past the first 10 minutes. 100, 130 IQ right here. Let me show let me show you my IQ scores right right now. I was able to solve this. This uh Zen Zone Zero gameplay is like hitting right now. Whatever I've said previously about Zen Zone Zero's combat not looking very satisfying, Satisfy I take it back. Shit. Zen Zone Zero be hitting and I was wrong. Sorry. The walking, there's so much walking in this game. Oh. There's, a, there's walking in an open world game. Wow. But I think I covered, I think I covered everything I want to. But just from a gameplay perspective, absolutely terrible. The combat system's kind of interesting, but you know for a fact. You didn't do any of the combat. <laughs> That's all you played? Act that there's it is no designed to spend money and that your success in the game is totally dependent on the fact that you're willing to shell out cash no i'm i don't even really feel like i want to have an argument to that i feel like it's too stupid to bother having an argument to that the answer is just kind of like it's just no i just it's just it's just factually incorrect what you said there might be some people that can kind of get away with free to play and there's some okay some people that like enjoy doing that uh-huh but they're working you know 10 times harder and putting in like double the amount of time into the game. I mean, really, most of what you spend money on in these kind of games is like 
characters, which isn't really progression, no. You don't really spend money in these games to progress. You more so just spend money to get new characters if you do, but you can absolutely do everything. In Wuthering Waves especially, you can absolutely play this game 100% free to play and be totally fine. You're gonna progress slower for sure because, uh, I mean, if you don't get battle pass and stuff, really? I, I feel like you just don't like gotcha games, but then he says that he really likes Genshin, so I'm like kind of confused about the whole thing. Uh, to actually do it. Show your UL level. Do it well. I don't think even... Not UL level. That's, that's, that's just union level level. Show your union level. Let's go ahead and peep that UL. Press escape on your keyboard right now. Like, I don't know about this, but I know in Genshin Impact, if you wanted to clear the highest level content, you almost had to pull in order to... No, nah, not really. I mean, like, you don't have to pay to pull. You're not going to have, like, the best units all the time if you're free to play in Genshin, obviously. But, like, uh, whatever. Just keep talking, whatever. make it easy, you had to pull. You want the I'm gonna be real. I don't. I, I, pulling is not a count progression in gotcha games. This is crazy. Cute girls that you want. Well, you better spend some money. And then I finally, I finally start uh, gambling. Also, he said how much he likes gambling. Like, unless that was sarcasm, which it's hard to tell because everything he says is so asinine. But whatever. But that's it, guys. That's it for the video. Weathering waves. That's weathering. It's pleasant. It's a pleasant game. Uh, fun in its own way, but. You can, there's like a flatness to it where you can just tell that it is designed to get you, it's just too smooth. You know, there's the degeneracy. It's too smooth? <laughs> what does that even, because he's saying that as if it's a bad thing, but like, what does that mean? Like, back when I played like Ragnarok Online, like a sort of MMO grinding degeneracy that uh that i enjoyed but this game just has an it's almost just too calculated the game seems well made to me and i don't like it can anyone summarize in like a short like in a in like two sentences what it is the fuck he just said is it not that i think the game seems well designed and something about it upsets me i'd like the game to be less of a smooth and enjoyable experience i i don't understand what we're saying i don't understand and how it does it. It's, the games themselves have just become too slick. And they're it kind of missing uh, something in it that I just can't quite describe in words. But you It's a free-to-play live service gotcha game. It's always got sort of a surface level-ness to it a lot of the time. Free-to-play live service gotcha games are kind of like that. I just don't think this genre is for you, blood. And I guess it's not. I still don't think it's a genre. I don't know what else to call it. I don't think gotcha is for you. I don't think you should play gotcha games. And I also don't know if you should play live service games or free-to-play games either. Maybe you shouldn't play games. Maybe if you do want to play games, maybe you just don't review them because this is wild. You can just tell it's just too smooth. It's too good at, at sort of luring you in and making you spend money. There's like just exclamation points all over the freaking UI. I don't know if I can even bring it. I don't know if I could actually scrub enough to to open the UI of the game, but you know. I think he thinks that the game's too well designed to trick him to spending money. He thinks that the game mimic as cool game, but you can't say it's not. He feels like the game is fooling him. Like kinda, right? I'm just pulling up your comment because I think it's like, all right. I feel like, yeah, okay, kind of, sort of, because it's a gotcha game. But is that not kind of like a weird schizo kind of like conspiratorial thing? It's a gotcha game. What did you think it was going to be? Did you think it was going to be a free to play game based around a gambling system that didn't try to get you to spend money but you're not forced to spend i think that honestly this the pressure to spend in wuwa is actually pretty pretty low compared to other gotchas that i've played the pressure to spend in this game is very very low i don't understand i feel like if he feels like a lot of pressure to spend in wuthering waves i'm gonna be real i think that he's like very impatient but again characters are not account progression if you're spending money toward account progression you're either buying resource packs like in the shop or you are you are refreshing and if that's the case like that's dented anyway so i don't really feel bad for you if you spent money on that you're you're deeply impatient if you're a normal person who can't manage to not do those things just constant just constantly trying to get you to uh why the hell is skype could you please edit if you're gonna post videos i can't stand this shit get out of here skype i hate windows i don't even who want the you fuck open. uses skype ah uh, shoot i don't my computer's not too good but it just i mean you can even see it in the top 
top right here, top left. Oh my God, there's notifications. I, there's nothing I can do. You can't click on them and make them go away. It's very scary. It's giving me anxiety. This is forcing me to spend money, the exclamation point on the on the missions button so that I know that there's a new mission to do. It's forcing me to spend money that it's telling me that there's something new in my bag. It's disgusting. Oh, if you click on the button, it gives you the reward. It's Or it just tells you that there's something that's in there. Like this is a button to know that there's a notification in there. Most likely this is telling you that you can ascend a character. I don't even know what you're upset about, to be honest. It's really really manipulative i think that there is a point that can be made about gotcha being manipulative not a single one of them was made in this video not one time and i think in the end it just it hurts the game itself you can just tell the game itself is designed around those systems and then, it's a gotcha game then you know just a nice a nice looking coat of paint is put on top it's a gotcha game <laughs> That was it. He lit. So, okay. Is what happened here that he quite literally sped run from bit of story to bit of story all the way to Scar, explored not at all, got annoyed that he had to walk, played it for what, like an hour, maybe? Yeah, this was the worst review I've ever seen. Possibly the worst review in the history of the universe. I, uh, this was, uh, wild, 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 wild 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 video so uh yeah that was that was a video let me know what you think down below in the comment section did you agree did you disagree Ooh, let me know what you think down below have a good day take care of yourself come join us on twitch if you chat in my twitch community you get one benefit of your choice you get a genie's wish higher sperm count more fertility bigger butt bigger wiener you know that little muscle twitch in your in your eyelid that you sometimes get i'll just make that never happen to you again it's very annoying see you later have a good one Bye. -bye.